as they say, with Vladimir, literally sitting at the presentation. Show 3. This, international version, which we have already done, here's the price, the most interesting price. Six hundred and forty-nine bucks. It's inexpensive. And now the fun begins. Everyone stands up. Where are you there? That's how it usually happens at presentations. The Amazon has opened, where they actually show this smartphone Realme GT3. The same as the Realme GT5 Neo is the international version, GT5 Neo is the Chinese version. Wow, even without locks they show. 240 watts, 9 minutes and 30 seconds to 100%. We got 11 to 13, but first we need to shake the battery a little, charge and discharge two or three times, and it will be as they promise 9 minutes and 30 seconds. Well, in fact, our review is not about this, we decided to start with this, because this is one of the most interesting smartphones of the 2023 year, huge attention and the most pleasant thing is the price. $649. The minimum price of this device is 828 Geeks. Link to. Complete. Well, that's about what happens at major presentations. There is a link to the full review at the bottom, you can take a look. Top end filling, a good screen and the coolest thing is charging 240 watts. Well, that is, this is really innovation and something pleasant that is happening in the world of smartphones that can be used every day. And that's all, I am, gone. Yes, guys, we're actually starting. Yes, what's next on the schedule, Motorola riser, let's go. And now I'll put the smartphone in its place. So, guys, what we are interested in is standing right there under the glass. That's what we still need to get there to show you what we want to show you. So, guys, in front of us is the sliding technology of Lenovo, a laptop, as well as a smartphone, which is of more interest. But a couple of interesting words about the laptop, or rather a lot of different numbers. In the closed state, which this laptop is now turning into, the diagonal is 12 and 7 inches, the aspect ratio is 4 by 3, the resolution is 2024 by 1604 pixels. But when he comes forward, which is happening right now, well, the process is going pretty fast. The diagonal of the laptop becomes 15 3 inches, the aspect ratio is 8 by 9, and the resolution is 2024 by 2368 pixels. There are two main questions. Well, first of all, why is it necessary? And secondly, how reliable is it? The screen is sharp here. That is, together with the Japanese, some Japanese together with others made this device. Why is this necessary? Good question. There are a lot of ordinary laptops, but this is, well, so far, a kind of concept, but one, someone will definitely need it. Excel tables. And why else it might be, I don't even know, I don't know, I don't know. But the bottom line is that they came up with this technology, they worked on it and it works and did not make two options, a smartphone and a laptop. But with a laptop, more or less everything is clear, well, whoever needs it there will buy it. But a smartphone is a really useful thing, but here it stands under glass. I would like to. Why did you want to mix? Give us 55 seconds. We're going to go talk to people now and maybe even touch it. A short commercial break and we continue. Guys, do you know what? The uncle is standing here. Guys, did you know that a brand new Xiaomi 13 Pro costs 55,000 rubles in China? I was hoping so much. Hi there. I am the only one from Russia who shoots content for them. Cool. What are you filming? I shoot photos, portraits and videos. Wait, are you filming something for Xiaomi? Officially, the only one from Russia who removes Xiaomi Explorer and programs. They recruit people from all over the world several times a year. So, interesting. How did I get there? Filled out the form. A questionnaire like, yes. I was living in Yuzno Sokolinsk at that time. So, and where do you come from? From Yuzno Sokolinsk, but lived in Canada for a very long time after. In Canada, on the second. What the hell is your geography? In Moscow, yes. So, I came to Sakhalin for a couple of years. So, I was sitting at home in the evening, filled out a form on the website. Yeah. And I was chosen. As a result, 10 people from all over the world pass. 10 from all over the world. From all over the world. And one or two people are selected from them, who can get in again. I got hit three times in a row and eventually signed a contract and am now shooting content for Xiaomi. So you're cool. Yes. How old are you, if it's not a secret? 28. Are you getting paid for this? And for some projects there is a monetary reward, for some there is no, but. So, 
We receive almost all devices, including a limited one also in Yuznosokolinsk. This is also in Yuznosokolinsk. That's 11. That is, this. All on. It was taken on the phone. And how did you turn out to be here? Were you brought here? Yes, they are us. Did they pay? We paid for the tickets and before that we were in Germany at Lake's office for several days. Excursions were filmed at the factory. Listen, well, it helps you somehow, and it's just a phantom 28 years old and not 13 after all to ride so easily. In general, I am a content developer. I make a design website and advertising, and photos, both for me, as a hobby. But since the work is related to this area. So. It helps a lot in promotion. That is, you come to the customer, he has a me band. You say, oh, I made official dials for. Come on. Yes, customer by design. Accordingly, he thinks that this is a completely different level and a better chance to get a good customer. Listen, just give me a handshake. We will indicate the shooting. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. What were you talking about? Where did you come from there? Do you buy, sell? We are in general. In general, we came to see. I see. So guys, did you know that a brand new Xiaomi 13 Pro costs 55,000 rubles in China, and in Europe and most likely in Russia it will also cost 105,000 rubles. But many, nevertheless, have already become accustomed to this brand, they do not want to look at other smartphones and want this particular model. But to lay out 105,000 like that. However, Megafon has a solution called Mega Subscription. Just come to the communication salon, buy a Megafon SIM card with a tariff without overpayments and pick up your smartphone in installments for 12 months. Right now, for example, there are 12 Xiaomi Pro with a Mega Tariff, which includes 30 gigs and 800 minutes. In Moscow, such a smartphone will cost only 9,000 rubles a month. But many will say, well, what should I buy a Megafon SIM card for? Megafon, by the way, has the fastest mobile internet in Russia. So that's a double profit for you. By the way, another bonus. Before signing up for a subscription, you can bring your old device and take it to a trade-in. Very convenient. And also, if you are already a Megafon subscriber, the offer is also valid for you. I definitely recommend it. A special link is already at the bottom. We continue. Guys, let's go. Thanks for watching. Special link at the bottom. This is a secret room where they feed, and we really want to eat, to be honest. Haven't had lunch yet. Wow, it's nothing. All. But when I need to I have the ability to do so. You know, we all love it. Yes, I could watch the movie like that. Guys, this is probably the most interesting smartphone so far, but one of the most interesting smartphones of the 2023 year. We missed the cool new products. Let's calmly see what's what. The first impression is that the smartphone is almost already pre-final. To be honest, we thought that this concept is under glass, it works so much poorer, one option. But not only are there several of them, this smartphone lies in your hand like this, it's nice. That is, it's not a chip for the sake of a chip. It's just that convenient technology and something that many people will like. Of course, the main question, you see, yes, by the way, the smartphone is called a riser, that is, we have a ruin, a riser smartphone. The main question is this part here, how strong it is. To be honest, I don't want to check and screw up a little bit here, because there are several samples, but not enough. But it looks quite fragile.
Let's hope that somehow this case will be brought to mind in the right way. Double tap, 1 2, the smartphone folds. Sound, here let's do it like this. 50 50, as they say, those who do not like such sounds in principle will say what nonsense, but to be honest, we like the sound, technological, gadget like sound, it's nice to leave, it's nice like at the door of a helic, right? That is, you need to put it right there, but this is a trick of helic. Here it is a feature of this smartphone. The second point that I have now drawn attention to in terms of nuances is that this part is moving. That is, there are naturally small cracks, there are small burrs and distances, call it what you want. That is, if the dust, if some kind of something gets there, you know, but it's not cool either. What happens if something gets there? Is there a breadcrumb there? Also a good question. But again, firstly, this is a type of concept, prototype, yes, but already the most thought out version. A difficult situation, the diagonal of the screen is 5 inches, from below we have such a plastic thing, where the screen drives in, and it's like a case, and something that protects the screen from all sorts of influences. Click double tap. Now we have 6 and a half inches and 22 by 9. And we can look at parrots in this awesome version. Well, from a movie to see, just like that to open. Well, here again is what I was talking about. The left hand is placed here out of habit, and it lies on this thin screen. What else is on the case? We only have two minutes left. This volume rocker works, it works too. There's nothing here. USB Type-C is placed on this side. We have a camera speaker on top. The cameras here also have a certain chip, because we go here and now I can use this screen, that is, like this part of the screen, as a viewfinder is awesome convenient. And the second, or rather already there is some kind of fifth in a row. So that's 30 seconds left. Some kind of chip that we wanted to talk about is a selfie camera. Click here, the screen goes down 2 millimeters, and we have a selfie camera and a speaker. You can talk on the phone and you can use a selfie camera. Well, of course there are a lot of questions. Time right for two more Vintereki walk. So, of course, there are a lot of questions about how all this will be in the long run but it's cool in the hand. The usage scenario is not for the sake of a chip, but really for the sake of functionality, you need to watch YouTube, open Gmail, scroll through. There should have been a list of different social networks that cannot be named, but you all understand, yes, it's really convenient to look through all these social networks. The screen pulls up, flipping through, short, here, shorts have not been banned yet. The shorts can be viewed perfectly on this screen. Oops, that's the level. Look, it's perfect. You don't need all these extra gestures at full height. You can see the title at the bottom, you can see the YouTube menu. By the way, the link to the channels is below, we recommend subscribing. Beauty, that is, right now we had only 10 minutes, we are already giving away the smartphone, because there is a strict schedule here. We found a bunch of use case scenarios, but we also found, so to speak, a lot of nuances that need to be used to, that need to be tested, but Motorola or otherwise has a lot of experience in the production of smartphones, and this is a new format. Let's hope that they will finish the whole thing and start selling it in a form that is not a shame and people will be able to use it for a long time. How much does it cost? We are also interested. Write in the comments what you think about it. Here is such a device called the Motorola Riser. And what, can I take a cucumber? Well, guys, what I want to say is definitely cool. There are a lot of questions. Here's another laptop, by the way, which is being pushed out. Well, to be honest, we haven't figured out how to use a laptop yet. There are tables to the subscription. Well, probably yes, that's something like that. But as for the smartphone, if they make this part with the screen that leaves as strong as possible, so that you can turn it and hold it in your hands there to watch YouTube and other different videos there. It'll be cool. We are waiting for your comments. The stand of the company Lenovo, 242 Realme. Cool stuff. See you. Bye.